Hey gearheads, welcome back to the channel. That's right, we're busting out the Duramax again, and it's been some time since we've actually done anything with the Duramax on the channel. I know I've never been kind of neglecting you guys with that one, but we're gonna see how far the def tank can go on an L5P Duramax. We're gonna go Florida, all the way to Colorado, pick up something special for our T-bucket build, then back down to Texas to pick up something extra special for 2024, and then we're going all the way back to Florida. So the goal is not to vlog like a little travel channel here, we're gonna go do the trip, but we just need to find out how far the def tank will go on this L5P Duramax. Let's get moving. Actually, you know what, before we hit the road, we should probably change the oil on this thing really quick. So let's get over to the garage, let's knock that out. We'll go ahead and get on the road. If you don't know how to change the oil on one of these things, hey, I got a video for you. It's right up, somewhere up there. All right guys, so we got it up here. Not really using much down here, unless you got like a 10 inch chest or something. Uh, I like to put them up on ramps that I can slide under. For the oil filter, you're just gonna need the PF26. Nothing special. Uh, Amazon, man, like eight bucks for these here. Uh, don't buy them at the dealership. They charge like 40. 15W40, I'm using the Kirkland special, which rumor has it, it's Shell. So. Now, in the engine bay, pretty, pretty simple. We did some videos uh, a couple months ago. I showed you guys how to do the oil. Super simple. Just going to add it right in there. We're going to get the cap pulled off. I actually can't reach the engine bay now. So we're going to put something so we can stand on and pull that off. I'm going to set that aside. I always like to kind of put it over here to make sure that, you know, kind of reminds myself to actually put oil underneath but we need to jump underneath now and i'm going to show you a little secret you know what let's talk about tools really quick so you're not going to really need much just an adjustable wrench here bring a hammer with you i'll tell you why and then nice little punch and then bring yourself a plastic bag because i'll show you why we just need to slide down in there you know i've got like a thousand of these filter wrenches and i always have to buy another one because i can never find my current one but as soon as you buy another one, <laughs> you find your old one. And they accumulate over time. Almost like those brake caliper compressor tools. How many of those you guys have laying around? All right. So the way that the filter is angled on this, it creates a little bit of a issue draining out. So take your punch here, and anywhere on the filter, really, just pop yourself just a little hole there, and make sure you're actually got the pan underneath, like I did, and just let that filter uh, drain out right there. So when it comes time to turn it off, it doesn't go absolutely big shit everywhere. So go ahead and take that plastic bag you grab, just slide it right over that filter. Now you're supposed to use a gallon size for this, but somebody in the house used all my gallon filters, or gallon bags, and I don't have anything left. I just love getting oil on my hands here. Well, it doesn't look like the bag was big enough, but whatever. We'll make it work. You really do need that gallon size bag here for this that little trick to work, but at least you know about the hole punch. All right, take your new filter here, just a little bit of oil, and get that gasket all nice and cleaned up, and then you can just take this and spin it back on up here. No reason to torque these down. Put some good pressure on it, but don't over torque it. So the L5P is going to be roughly about 10 quarts-ish, depending on how much came out. Funnel, don't forget. Clean funnel, actually. Oh man, this thing drinks it. At least it doesn't burn oil like those 5.3s that Chevy has. Those things go through like a quart once a month. Forget to put your cap on. And guys, let's hit the road. No, we couldn't have the road trip Take the next left. without Bucky's here. And this place is just insanely packed. As always, it must just be the brisket sandwich. All right guys, no brisket sandwiches. We got our coffee. I'm a late night driver, 
but surprisingly 20 minutes on a brisket sandwich right and boy is she impatient halfway through the door right here halfway through look at that let's give her a little walk totally forgot we had the dog in the back but you, you're stuck <laughs> come on come on all right let's get you back in we'll get back on the road Sheba come on hop back in there oh man look at the dog here yeah I wouldn't want to go in there either come on Sheba come on hop in there we go here we're about 400 miles into the trip so far we got about another <laughs> hate to say it 1700 to Colorado and then we're going Colorado down to Texas to get this goblin here so it was a really long drive and I'm a little bummed about this brisket sandwich but I can afford to lose a little bit of weight so got our coffee it's about 1 a.m. traffic on the road you know it's Christmas weekend so kind of sucks deaf wise though guys they haven't even moved a smidge uh, the gauges on these Duramaxes are they stay full for the longest time and then they end up going full-blown and then before you know it you've got half and then a quarter and then whatnot so I'm expecting to get probably about 2,000 miles or so out of the uh, def tank and then from there we'll see where we're actually at. Uh, really depends. If you're towing a trailer like we did back in July, we did our vlog there, we were towing the trailer. We were getting about 1,000 miles for a tank of def in the Duramax. So again, more of a load on the vehicle, uh, getting about 300 miles to a tank. Right now we don't have a load on it, so we're getting about 600 miles uh, per tank. Just filled up again just to top it off. But let's see how far we can get. We just made it to Illinois here and we're gonna do a def check we're about a thousand miles into the trip so far so take a look at this we're starting to get some movement on the def now and it's starting to catch up so like I said we're about a thousand miles in truck sitting about 56 608 on the uh, total mileage right now but let me show you a little tip here so when you hit up some of these truck stops you can buy def on tap I'm sure a lot of you guys know about that uh, it's either gonna work or it's not as you can see here this one's obviously broken. Now, if you're towing a trailer, obviously I like to use this here because it pumps a lot faster. I don't have the trailer, but all the def pumps, or I'm sorry, all the diesel pumps on the front are all empty. But the nice part about these is they've got a high flow handle and you can essentially pump pretty, pretty quick. So our uh, fill up is about 333 a gallon here. So took about 100 bucks to uh, top us off there, but we're still good on the def at about a thousand miles. All right guys, so I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. No, I'm just kidding. We're definitely in Kansas and uh, pretty deserted around here. There's like one gas station imagine that there's a Dairy Queen with like nobody at it and it's like super super windy but we need to let the dog out here we're doing pretty good oh look at that she already went to the front seat see if she can get out because she's stuck come on Like the best traveling companion too she doesn't really talk much <laughs> doesn't really complain much either but man it's cold the temperature literally went from about 60 degrees to uh 29 so it's actually due to snow here uh pretty soon but let's take a look at this def here let's grab the dog let's go come on should center into this abandoned building and clear it out oh man it's cold it is cold 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 come on come on hop in come on. hop into your your hairy mess that you created back here jump in the front seat all right 
So we are about, uh, let's say about 1,600 miles or so. And look at that, from the last time we checked it, we're about 200 miles from our Colorado destination. So we're still not burning uh, too much. I'm pretty surprised. Um, 1,600 miles, another 2,000 to go. So we're doing pretty good, but I'm still waiting for this to actually jump down and just hit the red, because that's what it does here. But we gotta hop back on the interstate. Not too much to go. It did rain last night and I put my boots back here and they got all wet, so I gotta figure out how to dry these suckers. Oh man, that sucks. So we are headed back on the road, headed now to New Mexico, but I want to show you something because as you can probably see from next to me, it snowed. Oh yeah. The joys of Colorado. Nice and cold. Nice and cold. So there's a nice little slick little bit of ice on the road. Um, should clear up once we get more into the city and get back on the interstate. They don't plow these back roads here, so we just push here, push through pretty slow. Uh, death wise, yeah, let's not even talk about that because we're still a little more over a uh, quarter tank and then about 2,000 miles into the trip. Yeah, so I'm sorry, a little more than half right there. So I think we're going to be able to make it all the way to Texas, probably get about 4,000 miles out of a tank here. So we'll see. Now we are in four wheel drive, it's going to burn more fuel, therefore, you're going to burn more def. Uh, no regen yet on the trip. I think we are about here, 2,718 miles later, and essentially up to Colorado and back. And I think that is it right here. I think that's the, uh, right here. Yep. You have arrived. We are her. Oh, yeah. Let's see if they got it outside all prepped up and ready to go. You wouldn't think this place would be here, though. I don't even know where the hell to go. Oh, I see a bunch of cobalts back there, though. Well, let's swing over here and see what we got going on. I think that might be it right in there. Oh, there we go. Man, I feel like it's Christmas. Is that a bow you put on it? Yeah. <laughs> is that a is that a is that a Christmas bow? That's funny. That's funny. What do you think? Oh, here we go. Yeah, at first I was thinking like, oh, did we pick it up? <laughs> yeah. This is what, 200 pounds, right? Or is it a little more than that? Okay. Oh yeah, we're looking good here. We're looking good. guys so we're ready to hit the road again we got about another 1100 miles or so so we've got the goblin all strapped up but i want to show you something because we're about 2700 miles into the trip so far another 17 hours to go colorado all the way down we're just doing a big giant loop but look at this pay no attention to the windshield wiper fluid though i know it's it's uh it's empty so 2700 miles into the trip so far on the duramax there our def is sitting at about half a tank right there. So is that accurate? Eh, who knows? But let me show you something else because we're going to have to do this when we get back home, which I'll show you guys how to actually take care of this. So when we started our trip, our fuel filter was actually at 20%. So we're down to eight here. So by the time we get back after about 1,100 miles or so, 
it's going to be time to do that. So I'll show you guys how to do a fuel filter change on the L5P Duramax. Uh, the other thing I found pretty interesting too, um, if we look at the oil life. So we were a little late to actually reset it. We're at 71%, 2,700 miles into the trip. After everything's said and done, we'll probably be at about 4,000 or so. I'm guessing about 50%. Um, but we'll talk about that when the trip is over because I know a lot of guys are changing their oil at 3,000, which doesn't really make too much sense. But we're going to see what that's at once we get back. So this is where I'm going to get scared here. I'm afraid to even see what we have left. Let's see what we got going on here. <laughs> what do you think? Yup, 16 hours, 53 minutes, 1,100 miles. Oh, nice. We got a nice little flood going on there. 1,100 miles. What route do we have? Though? I really don't want to go north of Dallas again. Uh, 42 minutes slower. We can go party in Nolens. Oh, no, that goes down to Houston. I definitely don't want to go to Houston. Uh, yeah, we'll head right back that way there. All right, man. I don't have enough energy drinks for this. Hey guys, so we are in Florida and well, you can see some palm trees. So it actually makes me pretty happy here. It's been a really, really long trip so far. You know, the DAF wise, yeah, we're doing pretty good. But the truck, the truck is so dirty. Look at this. It's about 4,000 miles worth of salt on this thing. It's, uh, look at this. I don't know if you can tell, but I can literally just peel it off with my finger. Look at that, that's wild. We gotta wash that off. But this thing's holding up pretty well. Some of the straps came loose uh, a little bit earlier, but uh, we got this all tied up. Luckily, we didn't lose anything in here. Uh, so we're looking at probably about another, let's jump into the dog hair infested truck here. And we're looking at about 3,400 miles uh, so far in the trip. And then about six hours and 59 minutes left there. So still a little bit of time. Um, let's pull out old furball here. Come on. Time we uh, wash me. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see on the camera, but it's, it's pretty prevalent out here. Seven hours ago, we're gonna jump on the road, knock this out. Gotta wash my finger from uh, drawing on the truck there. We'll crunch some numbers when we get back to the house on the def. And then in another video, we will show you how to do the fuel filter. But we'll check that out too, because we started at 20%. We're down to about six. So hopefully we can run it down to zero before we get back. If we run it down to zero before we get back, we'll knock out the fuel filter. guys so we made it back to florida to our secret villain hideout on this bridge where we film most of our youtube videos but i want to talk a little bit about the def because we really didn't actually drain it down as much as i thought we would when i do normally tow with the truck here it does really burn a lot of def but in this trip it actually didn't and i'm thinking that's because we actually didn't have a load on it i'll tell you what it's nice to be back but let's jump into this thing here and uh, i did get it all cleaned up got all the dog hair out of this sucker it was it was bad. So, let's get this started up here. Let's run through some numbers. So, our total trip distance for our entire trip was uh, 4,568, give or take uh, 20 or 30 miles between uh, just side trips and whatnot that weren't related to the, uh, to the trip. Now, considering we're almost at 5,000 miles on the actual trip there, Let's jump down to the actual oil life. So obviously you remember we did our oil, we're at 46%. We reset it <laughs> about a quarter way through the trip. So um, it could be actually a little lower, but it did start at 98, we're at 46. So about halfway there. So if you think about it, they're saying on these things, change the oil every three to 4,000 miles, but hey, we're almost halfway to 10 and we're 46%. Let's jump on down to the fuel filter really quick here as well. So when we started the trip, we were at uh, about 17, 18. Uh, you know, we're now at 0%. So we're gonna have to change that. I'm gonna do that in another video for you guys. There is one currently up, it's an older one, which I'll put the link up for you, but I'll show you a little quick tip on that when we change that out. Uh, engine hours, ah, oh, man, I think we were, uh, 
about 15, actually, I think we were at 1,300 when we left, but that's not too important. Let's get down to the, the big number here, which was the point of the video. So when we filled up and left, we were at a full tank of DEF. We're sitting a little bit um, almost on E. And it started jumping really quick. As soon as we got to the halfway mark, it started dipping down really fast. So it's not going to say anything here. As soon as that one bar actually goes away, it'll start telling you that you have about 1,000 miles until you're out of DEF, which that number is about uh, inaccurate. It's more like 150 to 200. But I've seen some other guys that have different numbers. So there you go, almost a full tank of DEF. And we went almost 5,000 miles. So 4,600 uh, almost there. So that gives you a general idea if you guys are thinking about doing a road trip or you're uh, kind of looking at buying one of these. Don't worry, the DEF is still cheap. Hasn't been inflated quite that much yet. All right guys, so that's all I got for you here on the Duramax. We're gonna give it a little bit. We're gonna run the DEF down even a little further just to see how far it can go. Uh, we're gonna have a video up for you guys on how to actually change the fuel filter and some other fun stuff. I got the Goblin out. It's nice and safe in the Goblin storage. So we'll see you next time.